We're back with Tony who suffers from debilitating painful keloids. After Dr. Orton's consult with Tony, we reached out to board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Lara Devgan, and radiation oncologist, Dr. Jonna Andrews in New York, who are now joining us live via Skype. Docs, thanks so much for being with us. And, and Dr. Orton, thank you so much for consulting with Tony. A lot has happened and changed. Tony was, was talking about watching an episode of our show uh, with Keenan where similarly had keloids on his face that had been recalcitrant to, te to treatment. So in today's day and age, what, what options are out there for someone like Tony? Well, for this very challenging problem, what I would suggest for Tony is an operation very similar to the one that he heard about in um, the previous story. And that is surgical excision, potentially in multiple stages, in the context of radiation therapy. Well, I concur 100%. I couldn't agree with you more that the radiation is going to be the, the key step as well in this process. I, w I wanted to ask if in, in a scenario like Tony where obviously the keloids were not at this size initially and so many people out there suffering with keloids, when did people know where they should go this extra step with the radiation on top of the excision? How do people make that decision? I think oftentimes these patients aren't necessarily uh, referred to a radiation oncologist um, because a lot of times radiation um, is not the, the optimal option. However, I think in an extensive case of keloids, you always want to offer radiation within 24 hours of the surgery, and it really does decrease the risk of the keloids coming back. Exactly, the, the results with supplemental radiation are huge. But to answer your question, Travis, not all keloids respond the same way. There's certain cases where we excise them and we don't even have to do lesional steroid injections that they're gone, mm -hmm. but then a more severe case like this, the history shows that it's gonna come back even bigger if you don't follow up with a different type of treatment.